Louisiana Beer Review, Smirnoff Ice Spiked Hurricane Punch, 8% alcohol. Here we go. I uh, don't think this particular product is in production at this particular time. It's not listed on the website, uh, www.smirnoff.com. It says from some sell sheets on some liquor store. It's still sold in some liquor stores. I bought it this morning at a liquor store. It's 8 a.m. right now. Actually, I bought it at um, a gas station. Flavored malt liquor, it says on the disclosure. It says, terrifically tropical fruit twist. Um... 8% alcohol, it says fruit juice from concentrate. Okay, so it's a fruit beer. Plainfield, Illinois, brewed and bottled by the Smirnoff Company. All right, so um, there's a code, but I'm not going to even try to decipher that. Um, those hieroglyphics. All right, anyway. 8%, it may not be super fresh, but um, in the can, high ABV, probably be all right. I've aged 8% beers before they came out fine. They say it's based on the New Orleans concoction, the Hurricane. And who invented the Hurricane? Um, Pat O'Brien's uh, bar, I believe, on Bourbon Street, New Orleans. There is one other video review for this product. This is a bright red appearance. There's a slight orange to it, so it's an or, or, orange red. You can see that. Look at that brilliant. Looks like it's one of those party light bulbs glowing. Now there's some more. Uh, Recent Smirnoff ice, 8% made with um, fresh juice additions, infusions. They're called Smirnoff ice or Smirnoff spiked sourced. But just look for that word, Smirnoff sourced. And they talk about it's sort of like, it's not organic, but it's like along the lines of that type of concept. These are made to drink dead cold, okay? If you think you're going to let it go to room temperature and enjoy it, it's not being done in a proper way. You wouldn't have an ice cream cone that's liquid form and enjoy it. Ice cream, you know, is made to be frozen, and these are made to be dead cold. I had it in the freezer for a good 25 minutes. Uh, aroma. <clears throat> I've never heard it. I've never actually had a hurricane from Pat O'Brien's, but I know many people who've told stories of drinking hurricanes down there. And not 16 ounces, but a lot more than 16 ounces, and having real kind of uh, negative repercussions follow. They said the drinking part was enjoyable, the repercussions were not. And the Hurricane on Bourbon Street at Pat O'Brien's is not made with beer. It's not using a malt, a malt base. It's not a malt liquor. Those are being made with probably something like 190 proof diesel from Sazerac, something like that. So it's very dangerous. Probably enjoyable in moderation, but I don't know too many people that go to Bourbon Street and practice moderation. It's just kind of the nature of that, those three blocks down there. This is a mild fruity aroma. Natural flavors, certified color infused with fruit juice. Okay, so we got real fruit juice, natural flavoring, and there's food coloring to give it that orange red appearance. Um, I think Hurricane, the drink, might be trademarked. That's why other places like Daiquiri's, the chain Daiquiri's, they, the Daiquiri shop, they got to be careful what they sell. They might make something that mimic a hurricane. Um, it's 
very mild flavored, mildly flavored. Um, you get a slight fruit flavor. Booziness? No, not really. It, I think they're probably using some hop extract because there's a little bitterness at the end. Balancing bitterness. And they're using an odorless, colorless malt base. Similar to like in um, flavored spirits, you know, like a grain spirit, grain neutral spirit. Um, the body is only high medium. It's not heavy bodied. If it's high medium, it may not even be there. And you know, to that heavy level. The finish is um. Not really sweet. Just a touch. Of, it's like a low to medium dry. Let's say it's a midway uh, sweet dry. All right, but tipping a little bit over into dry. So like 52% dry and a 48% sweetness. But it's tipped over into dry, which is a good thing I think, because it's not cloying or gross. Um, I haven't seen any of the more recent ones from Smirnoff listed as with fruit juice added, but that that could be with the sourced. Terrifically tropical fruit twist. Mm. It was a dollar eighty nine for the pint can, which seems in line actually because I, I did some online research. These on you know the liquor stores that have a website, some of them are selling for two oh nine a pint. I mean, currently selling it. So it could be one of these that um, is brought back time from time to time. The sell sheet does reference New Orleans, New Orleans. Um, yeah, Pit Stop. That's the name of that place. Pit Stop on U.S. Highway 61 southbound pit stop yeah they don't have a fabulous selection but uh sometimes they have some oddball things that you don't see anywhere else around here like car stairs american blended whiskey you just don't see that anywhere else in this parish but there they are car stairs the man who cares buys car stairs white seal uh blended whiskey that kind of thing um only thing I can make from this date is L6058, maybe the 58th day of 2016. Could it actually be on the shelf three years? Well, knowing the uh, distributors that I know, uh, you think the three-tier system protects the consumer? If you think that, you don't know the business. It protects the monopoly. But it's not a monopoly. It's a group of businesses, so it protects the collusion. I just call it like it is. I mean, that's the reality. Um, you, the consumer, you, me, and you, we have to check the dates. We have to ensure fresh, freshness. The store is not going to generally, and the distributor is not going to. The company, the producer claims they will. They'll send QT team, you know, QC teams out there, quality control teams out there from time to time, make spot checks. But, um... That's not done too much, I don't think. So, um, for a, I think, I don't know, I think an aged product, I think it's doing okay. I mean, there is a little bit of a dead note in it. Probably lacks the vibrancy that you would have had three years ago, assuming it's three years old. But I think I'm on the right track. But I found that with those um, barley wines that I aged for five years. They start to take on like a turned fruit turn fruit. Now this has actual fruit in it. After five years it might be like a rancid fruit. I don't know. Mm. Okay, so punch. The hurricane, the famous or in some ways infamous drink in New Orleans, is basically saying, okay, high alcohol fruit punch uh, that you would get at a wedding reception. And this is along those lines. So if you're thinking along those lines, Finger sandwiches, uh, chicken wings, um, fruit punch, drinking too much, you know, being nauseated later after the wedding. You know, those kind of mad memories that some people have. I don't because I don't ever do all that at the wedding reception. Um, 
I think one can is perfect. I can't see why somebody would drink multiple uh, servings of this. It'd be a, it says it's 2.1 servings. So they're saying um, a serving is less than 8 ounces. That could be true. Um, anyway, um, don't want to make a big production out of it. For what it is, basically spiked fruit punch in a can at a gas station, pit stop, it's fine. In the style, it's an, I'm going to say 93 because I think fresh, it would have the vibrancy, which might not, not uh, bump it up higher. But I think at, at this stage of the game, it still deserves a 93. Um, not my sort of thing. Do I have some other flavored beers? I certainly do. I have the uh, CBS from Founders. Uh, <laughs> considerably more expensive. I would prefer to drink it though. And I have the um, Bourbon County from Goose Island. 2019. 15.2. I think the after effects of this will be a lot milder than the uh, Bourbon County. The Bourbon County 15.2, you drink a whole 500 milliliters of that. Just if you, you just feel like you took medicine. Not, not a feeling I really enjoyed feeling like I took medicine. But anyway, um, trying to get the metric system designation on this milliliters. I don't know what 16 ounces converts over to milliliters. That's uh, 355 for uh, what is it? Maybe 473. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Anyway, so Laissez Le Bon Ton Relate, a good product, not currently in production, but more than likely it'll come back. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. <laughs>